person that inspires you? Oh my God. The song that you have listened to the most in your life. <laughs> your favorite line as Dr. Robotnik. Oh my gosh, that's really difficult. É isso mesmo que você viu. Hoje eu tenho um encontro marcado com um vilão. Ele voltou! Na verdade, um cara que faz um vilão, mas que nem é tão vilão assim. O papai tá com um bigodinho novo. Sim, ele, o homem, além de um dos maiores atores de Hollywood, um dos grandes ídolos da minha vida, eu troquei uma ideia com Jim Carrey, senhoras e senhores. Depois que eu fui embora, eu descobri a fonte do poder máximo. Vocês têm noção? Vocês têm noção? Eu vou ter que me segurar para não virar o um fã maluco. Calma, Marcos. Ô, Marcos. Marcos, respira, Marcos. Como vocês viram, o Jim Carrey tá de volta no papel do Dr. Robotnik no Sonic 2, o filme, que estreia no dia 7 de abril nos cinemas. Dessa vez, ele tá carecola, tá na mó bigodeira, tá ainda mais parecido com o personagem original, vocês repararam? E ó, já aviso uma coisa. Agora, a aventura é ainda maior. E olha quem chegou pra dar aquela somada boa. Espero que não seja tarde demais. O grande parceiro do Sonic, o Tails. E do outro lado, nós temos o temido Knuckles, que chegou pra se aliar ao Dr. Robotnik. É uma luta épica. Não tem como não pirar, né, gente? Você nunca vai pegar o meu poder. Parece que eu preciso do seu poder. E já que o Sonic é a criatura mais veloz do universo, nada melhor do que fazer o Jim Carrey acelerar a mente, mais ainda no nosso questionário Mionzeira. Como será que ele vai sair? Como é que eu vou me sair? Vai ser uma entrevista, mas eu acho que quem vai falar sou eu. Uh, it's Marcos Mion, I'm from Brazil. Oh, Marcos. And, uh, man. <laughs> How are you, Marcos? Right now, one of the uh -huh. best times of my life, you know? Really? And I know a man in my position, I should really play it cool, you know? And be like, yo, Gary, <laughs> how's the movie? And I love you, oh. <laughs> Just freaking out. <laughs> oh, that's, that's uh, one special, of the advantages yeah. of living a long time in this business, is I have people of every age who come up to me and say like, wow, there was something special there and it, uh, it was a yeah. good part of my life. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I'm very, very lucky. I am the lucky guy today. No, you can bet on that. Fiquei até arrepiado. We're gonna talk about Sonic. I'm gonna talk about your movies, don't worry. But I mean, it's been a lifetime for an opportunity to talk yeah. to you, even oh. if for a minute. I'm, I'm very proud of you. I feel very proud of you. We don't know each other, but you've been an inspiration from, uh, from me. When I was a teenager, you were my comic relief. You were the guy that I, I would turn to, to for good laughs. I knew all your uh, faces, your lines. Now that I'm a father, I'm a, a, a person that has a very important position in Brazilian entertainment. I am very inspired by uh, all your interviews. The wow. way you grew up and you matured, you became such a wise man. And uh, the same way that I had you uh, as an uh, inspiration when I was a teenager for all the goofiness and the craziness. Now I have you an inspiration for the way that you think, your values, how you stand for what you believe in, your faith. So congratulations, you. man. You you, you really, you. You, you make it worth for the oxygen that you use in this earth. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I've always had a conscience about what I do as far as, you know, the, the movies I choose and try to tell stories and even be provocative in ways that aren't uh, blatantly violent or are uh, kind of bad for people and I, I you know it it's wonderful to hear this this incredible thing that's happened in my life which is not only did did my original work land with people but then their kids were brought to it and the kids of their kids are brought to it and it's it's like it keeps reintroducing itself to new generations of people and of course we all we all we all live for authenticity after a certain point in our lives when we get to a certain age you know and I can still do the silly stuff I can completely be connected to that but I I do I do really enjoy Enjoy uh, having authentic exchanges about real things, and I, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, more profound stuff. Uh, you know, whenever you're in Brazil, I'd love to have you over at the house for dinner. <laughs> okay. And so we could talk about all stuff. Sounds all good. Things. I, I know right now, where I will eat in Brazil. God <laughs> damn. I mean, education. You have a friend here in Brazil who just Thank wants you. to chat and exchange Thank ideas with you. Yeah. But listen, I have a, a, a bit here on one of my shows that's called the Mionzera Questionnaire. Mionzera, well, inspired by my name, and it's a questionnaire. That the, the thing is, you just have to answer the first thing that comes to your mind. As I say, a word, 
or ask a question, okay? You okay. And you feel free to answer whatever you want. Sure. Uh, the only rule is do not overthink it, okay? Okay. Ready? First, yeah. first thing that comes to your mind. Yeah. Acting with Sonic in one word. Uba Uba. <laughs> one thing you have in common with Dr. Robotnik. A 300 IQ. <laughs> your favorite line as Dr. Robotnik. Oh my gosh, that's really difficult. I think my favorite line is probably on the cutting room floor, but <laughs> uh, my favorite line was, uh, it was not a line, it was a word. It was uh, numino ultramicroscopic silico volcano coniosis. <laughs> that's perfect. That's great, right? I keep trying to get it into the movie. Parece grande. Sonho com isso há muitos anos. Did you memorize it quickly? Fairly quickly, yeah. Maybe I have a special way of memorizing things, by the way. I now make paintings out of the words that I have to memorize. I, really? Yes, I, I actually make actual paintings out, figurative paintings out of the words from scenes. Like I have a painting that's six feet tall called Scene 42. And it's the scene in the Mean Bean Coffee House uh, where I talk about taking over the world. And I, I had to memorize, memorize a lot of lines. So I just made a painting out of it. I just literally That's write crazy. the lines over and over again until I remember them. And that. That's crazy. A favorite word. Favorite word? Yeah. Uh, Chowder. A, a word that you hate. I don't hate words. That's good. That's OK. A reason to be proud. A reason to be proud. I have three grandchildren, three beautiful grandchildren. That, and a person that inspires you. Oh, my gosh. Mm. That's a little deep. Buddha. Buddha, that's great. Buddha. The song that you have listened to the most in your life. Ha! <laughs> uh, I listen to Gregorian chants. Really? Yes. That's awesome. I think uh, see, they're vastly you're, underrated. You're a cool guy, man. You're, you're, you're so cool. Eh? That's no, great. I honestly, <laughs> people would be shocked. Like I get up in the morning, I have my, I make my coffee, I sit on the porch, I watch the hummingbirds and I listen to Gregorian chants because they are based in a an ancient scale of notes that have a vibrational effect on your spirit and your body. And That's they're great. called the solfeggio tones. God, what the first thing that comes to your mind? All is divine time. and we are that. Thank you so much. Can you please mm. just send a, a kiss for my three kids, Romeo, Donatella, and Stefano? Hello, Romeo, Donatello, and Stefano. I love you very much, and I hope to be in your life in some way, in I some good you, way. I love you, You're the best. You. Uh, you're the best, man. Thank Congratulations you. on the human being that you are. Take ah. care. Imbatível.